Hey there, Max Rich here, and today we are doing some Mumford & Sons. Uh, this song in particular is called I Will Wait, and it was one of the really, really big hits off of uh, that CD that came out, I think, in uh, 2012, I believe. Anyway, uh, this song in particular is really a, uh, a, an acoustic, kind of driving, bluegrassy type song, but it utilizes some really cool rhythms that are very unique to Mumford & Sons. I mean, not necessarily unique, that like they're the only ones that do it, but these rhythms in particular are rhythms that they use on a regular basis in a lot of their songs. So if you're a Mumford & Sons fan, learning this type of rhythm guitar playing can help you in virtually like all their songs, because they're all very similarly rhythm-based, as far as the ones in this tempo are concerned. You know, like really slow songs obviously are going to have a little bit of a different rhythm, but the strumming pattern is very indicative of their guitar playing. It kind of tells you a lot about how they think about rhythm and how they think about guitar playing in particular. So this lesson is going to really be geared towards learning how to strum and learning how to play these maybe slightly more complicated syncopated rhythms. Something like... Right, where you have this kind of driving bump, 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 sort of a pace going, but within that you have these syncopated uh, picking, uh, this, this syncopated strumming sound that really gives you that Mumford & Sons character. So I'm going to teach you all the guitar parts, uh, at least the acoustic and rhythm guitar parts are concerned. There's a little bridge in there that utilizes some octave stuff, so I'll show you that. And hopefully by the end of it, if you know the song, you know the lyrics, and you can sing it, then you should have all the ingredients to go ahead and play this with your friends, family, band, whoever, you know, around the campfire, you'll have all the ingredients needed for any of the above, so stick around. 